Hey, what's going on cryptos? My name is Trix and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can earn money just by playing a video game. We're going to start with a brief overview about the video game we're going to be playing. Then I'm going to show you three different ways to earn money within the game. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw your money and how to convert that fresh money into Bitcoin, Dogecoin and much more cryptocurrencies. Sounds good? Let's get started. The blockchain game we're gonna be playing is called Splinterlands. Splinterlands is a collectible card game in which players can battle between each other and trade their virtual items for money. The game has two major components, the cards and the in-game currency called Dark Energy Crystal or DEC. Each time a player wins a battle, he or she will win Dark Energy Crystals. These Dark Energy Crystals can be exchanged for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Hive, Dogecoin and I believe EOS as well. DEC can also be used to buy collectible cards in the game marketplace. So I'm going to show you how to play the game and explain to you how these cards work as we move forward in this video. So you have two types of cards, the summoners and the monsters. The monsters are the guys who do the fighting and the summoners are the guys who add power or attributes to the monsters. Each card has its own element. So you have fire, water, earth, life, death, dragons and neutral. Each element represents a team that you're going to be playing with. In other words, if you choose a fire summoner, your team would be composed of fire monsters. Except if you choose the dragon's team, if you choose a dragon summoner, you can choose dragons, monsters, and you can also choose monsters with different elements like fire or water or anything you want. So let's do a quick battle to see how the game works. So I'm going to select the team I'm going to be playing with. I'm going to choose a summoner and then I'm going to select the monsters. So this is my team and this is my opponent's team. The battle mode is automatic. You just need to click on Rambo and the monsters will do the fight automatically. So you have three types of monsters. Melee monsters, magic monsters and ranged attack monsters. Each monster has health, sometimes armor, speed, and attack. My summoner is a dragon and he adds magic to all the magic monsters in my team. My opponent's summoner is also a dragon and he adds armor to all of his team. So we have two positions where the monsters are positioned. The first position is where all the fighting will occur. The second position acts as a support for the first position. Ranged attack monsters may attack from the second position, but they cannot attack from the first position. And they hit armor first before health if the monster targeted has armor. Magic attack monsters may attack from the first and second position and they hit health even if the targeted monster has armor. Melee attack monsters may attack from the first position and sometimes from the second position depending on their attributes and they hit armor before health. If a monster in the first position gets killed, it will be replaced by the first monster in the second position. You can also skip the battle by clicking on the skip to result button in case you get bored. And that's basically how the PvP battle mode works. Very simple and very intuitive. However, there is more of a strategic aspect on how to position your cards to win the battles. But as I said, nothing is complicated. You just need to play the game and get used to it. And at the end of the battle, the winner will win Dark Energy Crystals, which is a cryptocurrency that can be exchanged for Bitcoin. So this is the first way to earn money in this game. You just need to battle and beat them all and you will earn money. The second way to earn is by achieving the daily quest. Every day, each player of Splinterlands has a daily quest to achieve. If it is completed, the player can claim additional rewards. 
Here I have earned 39 deck and an additional card. And here as you can see, I have earned two additional cards. I can keep them and play with them or I can sell them in the marketplace as well. And the third way to earn money in this game is by trading cards. Yes, you can trade those cards, you can buy them and sell them with the profit in the marketplace. Let me show you a little quick how much money I have earned so far in this game. So here you have my Splinterland spreadsheet. On the left side of the screen you have all my investments in the game. At the bottom you have the total amount invested, $123.5. And you don't have to invest that much money in the game. In fact, the game costs only $10, and it's a very lucrative game, and don't worry, you will earn money even when you start fresh. On the right, you have my earnings so far, and I have earned $28.2, and these are my withdrawals. And if you think about it, that's not a bad investment at all. I have already recovered more than 20% of my investment in a short period of time. And for me, that's a pretty good return on investment. I'm not even withdrawing all the money I earn. I withdraw only 70% of the earnings and I keep 30% to reinvest them in the game in order to buy more cards. So why am I putting that much money on a video game? Well, I am buying a specific type of cards which gain value over time. Let me show you. Each of these cards has its own level of rarity. So you have common cards which have a high supply and a cheap price. And you have rare cards which are also cheap and less abundant than the common cards. Then you have epic cards which are more scarce and more tough cards in the game and cost more money. And last you have the legendary cards. These are the toughest cards in the game. They cost more money than all of the other cards and they are extremely scarce. So I bought this card, Chain Golem, for $4.7 and now the cost of it is around $6.67. If I knew, I would have bought a hundred of these. I also bought this card, Plado Ember Plado, for $10.5 and I sold it back at $16 and I made 60% profit. I bought this one for $2 and I sold it back at $3. And I bought this one for $1.2 and now the cost of it is around $2.28. I should also have bought a hundred of these. You get the idea, I'm trading those legendary cards for money. The question is why these cards are getting more and more valuable. First of all, they are limited in supply. Only a small number of these cards are available in circulation. And secondly, these cards can level up and gain more power. So if I want to level up this particular card to level 2, I need to combine 3 of these cards to get to the next level. So I need to go to the marketplace, buy 2 additional cards like this one, and combine them to get to the next level. That's why these collectible cards are getting more and more scarce because you need to upgrade your cards in order to evolve in the game and win more battles and thus make more money. Let me show you now how you can withdraw your earnings. When you create an account on Splinterlands, you're gonna need to choose a username and a password. And within the game, you're gonna be able to create a wallet to store your dark energy crystals. And remember that DEC is a cryptocurrency and each crypto wallet has its own private keys. So the game will generate your private keys and you need to write them down on a notebook and save them out of your computer. Because it's money, this game is a money generator so you need to keep your private keys in a secure place. Next you need to go to HiveEngine.com. I will put the link to Splinterlands and Hive Engine and every useful link in the description below. So Hive Engine is where we're gonna sell our dark energy crystals for other cryptocurrencies. No need to create an account from scratch, you just need to log in with your Splinterlands username and password. As you can see, I already have 2734 dark energy crystals, 
I don't know where it came from, I probably made a withdrawal and forgot about it. Anyway, to withdraw your deck to the Hive Engine Exchange, you just need to click on your balance here and then choose the amount you want to withdraw. Let's say 2707 deck. Then click on select a wallet, then choose the Hive Engine wallet. And after that, you just need to click on transfer out. Then confirm, click on OK. Now let's get back to the Hive Engine Exchange. I'm going to click on wallet to make sure that my funds are there. As you can see, now I have 5,441 deck. So next, I'm going to select a market to sell this deck for another cryptocurrency. So I'm going to click on market. Then on the right side of the screen, I'm going to click on deck. Deck can only be exchanged for the Hive token. And Hive can be exchanged for Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, and Dogecoin. So I'm going to sell this deck for the Hive token. I'm going to scroll down and place a sell order. And the transaction is done. Okay, now I have some Hive in my wallet. I can exchange them for Bitcoin. So if I click on market and then search for swap BTC here and click on it, then scroll down. As you can see now, I can exchange these Hive tokens for Bitcoin. If I want to choose another cryptocurrency, I just need to click on tokens and here you have a bunch of tokens you can exchange your hive for bitcoin cash litecoin dogecoin eos you just need to type in on the search bar like if i want to exchange them for litecoin i just need to type in ltc and then click on this two arrows over here and it will redirect me to the litecoin hive market if i want to search for bitcoin cash i just need to type in bch and then the same thing click on these two arrows to get to the market and same thing for dogecoin and eos then click here and you will get to the hive eos market if you want to withdraw your tokens you just need to click on wallet and then click on withdraw and then choose the the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw and then put the amount you want to withdraw very simple thank you so much for watching my video all the links are in the description below as well as a free trading course check it out if you want to learn how to trade the crypto market if you are new here subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon and smash that like button to support the channel thanks again and as always peace ciao